Check out the lights. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the MyComlin RGB LED strip lights. This is the 15 meter version or 49.2 feet. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. You can see the nice retail box and packaging right here, 15 meters, 49.2 feet, 300 LEDs. This includes Bluetooth app control with your smartphone and remote control with the included remote. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, we have a customer service card followed by our user guide and manual that walks us through full product setup and installation. We have a QR code to the app to download on your iOS and Android app stores. The app is called eHome Lite. eHome is one word. They have full setup instructions with screen grabs. They also have their contact information on the back side if you have any questions. We also have our product specs right there. 40,000 hour lifespan and their 5050 RGB LED strip lights for the chip. Then you can see we have more permanent clips right here that screw in and fasten to like a wall if you wanna use those to keep your strip in place. We had adhesive backing that's sticky that can be used for the LED controller right here. You can see our input is DC 24 volt. And here's our output for the two strip light reels if we want to use them both. That's how they connect. Pay attention to the arrows and line them up when you're connecting the lights. We also have our IR receiver right here. Here's our power supply. Here's our remote control. You can see all the different button control options that we have. On the back side, we can see our battery installation instructions. And we need to pull out this plastic in order to activate the battery. This uses your standard CR2025 batteries. Then we have our two identical reels right here. You can see the connector with our arrow on it. We have our arrow up there. Just line the arrows up when you're connecting them. They also have adhesive sticky backs. You can gently peel that off and place it into place. Just make sure to have a clean dust and dirt free surface that's not damp or moist or anything and they'll adhere properly for you. But again, we have a more permanent solution if you want. Also, you can cut these strip lights if necessary. If you want to trim off some extra, just make sure to cut it right on that line in the contacts right there. And take note, you'll have to have separate connectors to reattach any cut piece. So make sure you do it at the end or just leave the extra on and then you won't have any issues along those lines. Now let's go ahead, let's connect everything together and try it out. So you can see I got the lights plugged in and powered on and they look great, very bright. They cast a lot of light, very pleased with everything so far. Again, you have multiple ways to control these strip lights, you can use the LED controller, you can use the remote control, or you can use the eHome mobile device app for iOS and Android devices. So let's go ahead, let's walk through those settings right now. First thing you have to do is download the eHome app from your app store. Then once you download it, you'll open it up. You do not have to create a profile, sign in, or anything else. And the lights automatically add via Bluetooth. So just make sure Bluetooth is turned on. You'll be at this screen. Then select the top left hand corner. You can see our devices right here. If you don't have any device showing up, just hit the refresh button until you find your device. You can see we have the lights right here. We're currently connected to them. Now we have full control. You can also hit the settings gear icon in the top right hand corner. That's going to go over your settings or you can just swipe that direction as well too. We can view a guide. We can turn shake mode on or off. We can modify the pin sequence if necessary and we can view the about information for this device. So we have shake turned on right now. So watch as I move my phone. How cool is that? We changed the light colors right there. It's kind of a fun feature to have. Now you can see from the main setting screen, we have a ton of different options to go over. First in the top right hand corner under the settings gear icon, we have our on and off button for the lights. Then you can see we have our color wheel right here. We can just choose whatever color we want and it's very responsive. Really nice. We can adjust the brightness as well. There's about 50% brightness. We can bring it all the way down to zero and back up. And again, you can see our RGB 
values as well. And we can actually pick those if you want to set a custom one right there. You can just do the plus and minus to get what you're after. Then we have our preset colors. We'll cycle through those. And our classic colors. Well, that red is bright. We go back to the whites too, so you can see what we're working with for the whites. Nice, cool. Options right there. Pretty cool with the color wheel. Very fun. We can adjust that too, depending on how warm we want the whites and the yellows. Now you can see at the bottom, we have other options as well. So we're looking at the adjustment section. We have the style option. And again, we can adjust the speed. We can adjust the brightness. We can change to different static colors. We'll just cycle through them. You can see tons of different styles for us. They all look really nice. Crossfade's cool. Very bright lights. Some nice gradual changes now, depending on the color that you want. Couple more gradual changes. Then we got the crossfades. Then we got some strobing flashing light right here now. Depending on the color that you want. Oh, so bright. And then again, we can adjust the speed and slow that down. So a lot of customization. Ooh, a lot of strobing. And then back to our static colors again. So a lot of different options there for the style section. Then you can see we have our music option right here. So we can actually play some included music if we want. And it will change to the music right here. So here we go. It's playing some music and changing. It's playing an island Christmas for us. And the lights are changing based on the song. We got a nice music mode. Then we have our mic mode right here. This is going to use our microphone and then pick up what we're saying and configure the lights in multiple modes, depending on the four options we choose. So this is the classic option, just picking up my voice right now. And it's changing between the different styles. So we have a sensitivity adjustment at the bottom too. Let's go ahead, let's play a song and try it out and see how it responds. Now we're going to disco mode. Soft mode. And classic. Back to soft with the adjusted sensitivity. Dynamic. And back to disco mode. Last but not least, we also have our scheduling feature. Go ahead, you can select the schedule icon. You'll be taken to the screen where you can schedule for the lights to come on. Choose your hour and minute, AM or PM. Select OK. And the days of the week that you want them to come on. Same thing for schedule off, turn it on, choose the hour, a.m. or p.m., and the days of the week that you want it to go off. So after using these strip lights, I gotta say my final thoughts are as follows. These are just simple RGB LED strip lights that work, and they give you a lot of length, 
Between the two reels, we almost get 50 feet. That should be plenty to cover any sort of background decorating that you're doing, kitchen cabinets, computer monitors, TVs, workstation, entertainment center, whatever. You should have enough to get through your project and your decorating needs with these light strips. And since there is so much extra, it's nice you can just cut it off and you won't have to worry about running out. Or you can double up on maybe the path you're following to decorate and adhere it, you know, in one direction and back the other to give you that much more light. So I'm a big fan of having all the extra um, footage with the strip light reels that you can really kind of maximize all the light that you get in your room. It's definitely going to help if you want to double up. That's kind of my recommendation. So simple, straightforward, they work and they're very affordable. I could obviously tell you guys, I'd love to see Wi-Fi connectivity and voice control. And there are some of those options out there in the market today. But again, if you're just looking for basic lights to come on and off with the remote control or to change colors with your smartphone, if you're nearby with the Bluetooth connection, it's going to be good enough for most people and what they're after. But again, it would be nice to have the Wi-Fi, the voice control, maybe the RGB IC technology with the individualized color patterns and changing it throughout the strip in a segmented fashion. But again, if you're just looking for simple RGB LED lights at an affordable price, you should definitely check these out, do some price shopping and see if they're the right fit for you. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.